Good morning. My name is Jay Weldy with JRWeldy.net. Today is Tuesday, January 14th, 2014, 5.13 a.m. Getting ready for a work day and uh, want to go over a little bit of ClearOS and I've mentioned this before uh, in a couple videos. ClearOS is a web server, well I shouldn't say web server, it's a server that is Linux based I believe it's based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux and uh, it can be run in a virtualized environment or dedicated hardware and ClearOS in my case has become my domain controller at my home office so let's go ahead and see what ClearOS has to offer and very easily I installed this on a small Dell uh, what is this? I think it's a C521, I think is what it is. And uh, as you can see, it's running 2.28 gigabyte. And uh, it has an AMD Athlon 64 processor 3200 plus. It's been up for five days right now, 7.9 hours. And uh, it's running a very minimal amount of load because basically what this does is in my case only is an authentication server for a domain so it's a domain controller as Windows Networking Samba and my primary domain controller PDC my Windows domain is clear I've turned off roaming profiles my logon drive is U and my logon script is logon command I have four computers attached to it. This one right here, a TouchSmart PC, and two virtualized machines. This is a Windows 7 Professional, and this is a 2008 Server Professional, or 2008 uh, Small Server, Enterprise Server. And these both are virtualized machines. So this handles basically the domain authentication and then under systems I have three users and I can easily add a domain user right here Give it a password. I can enable or disable Dropbox accounts from here, FTP server users, or print server. And I'll go ahead and give this user pretty much all the user roles. And we'll add that user. So out of the box, when you uh, install this as a domain controller, you don't have any real password policies um, for authentication on your network. So all you have to do is install a plugin from their handy dandy marketplace. Which offers a lot of free plugins that uh, come in extremely handy and uh, you uh, create a password policy set so uh, I haven't done that but I do have the password manager here small office here and I don't really need to have password policies but in a larger domain you would certainly want to have this enabled with a little bit stronger uh, policy so this is now replaced in the case of my small office a uh, Windows Small Business Server 2003 domain controller which I completely took down and uh, went ahead and installed this in a virtual machine first to test it out took that down cleared out all my VMs and uh, 
dedicated this to an actual hardware box and uh, makes system administration a lot easier and uh, certainly allows me to have a domain within my network here. A great piece of open source, free, clear OS community. They also make an enterprise version and if you need to have this be considered a secondary domain controller, I'm old school, I'm, I'm been around a while, they're not actually secondaries anymore, they're or backups, they're, they're just additional domain controllers. Uh, you can go into the marketplace again, type in domain, well maybe that's not Let's look for Windows. Nope. Let's just reset my filters and see if it comes up here. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Somewhere in here there is a paid plugin module. That'll allow you to import. Here you go, Active Directory connector, uh, which connects is designed to leverage existing Microsoft Active Directory infrastructure and simplify administrative and user control. Admins can quickly and securely roll out policy decisions using your existing Active Directory. User authenticate against a single directory, removing the need for multiple accounts, syncing passwords, or duplicating information. So you can pick that up for $125 a year and uh, have that actually for up to 50 users and connect your Active Directory to that and sync it between an existing Microsoft Active Directory and ClearOS. But in my instance, I'm not doing that. This is a standalone PDC and uh, it is, again, working very well. Thanks for watching. Uh, I would highly recommend this um, for smaller domains, um, anything from five users on up to 100. Have a great day. I'm Jay Weldy with jrweldy.net.